With respect to teaching, we are active in two main study programs. This is computer science and computer engineering. And both programs exist as bachelor and master programs. Now, a key message here is that both master programs, the computer science and the computer engineering program, are run in English. You do not need to speak German to study here. Of course, these programs are accredited both on a German level as well as on a European level, so they have a seal of approval from the corresponding authorities. And both programs also have a couple of unique features. For example, to name one, there is a so-called project group. A uh, project group is a group in the master program where 10, 12, maybe 15 students jointly work on an actual research problem. It's not a made-up textbook problem, it's a real research problem, and you work on it jointly with PhD students and professors. We complement that by scientific work methods, which are taught in classes like seminars or scientific writing. And in general, we emphasize self-responsibility a lot. We, we value that highly. So this way, we can combine training for both academic skills and practical skills. In general, the computer science program is very flexible. Students can select their own classes, and they can bundle them together into a so-called focus area. For example, data and intelligence, or networks and in communications. This ends up on your degree certificate in the end. The computer engineering program is a little bit more rigid. Um, it has a couple of obligatory classes, which the computer science program doesn't have. Paderborn had a large British military installation, so many people speak very good English. In fact, you can probably get everything done by speaking only English, certainly at the university. But of course, learning a bit of German helps as well if you stay here longer. It also has a lot of international students since many years. Now, in general, there's a lot more information online than I can state here. Um, you can find the study programs, you can find the course lists, you can find the lecture plans, all of that is online. There's also a team of people working to advise students. Uh, they have their own email account, they have their own Twitter feeds. They are there to help you once you're here. So we really try to provide a lot of support to our students.